welcome one and all to some Atomic Blimp gameplay. The first ever time I've ever flown in the air in Grand Theft Auto 5 and I am excited. Here it is, you can see it, it's massive. It was a really small download though, but it was, it's massive. It is, it is tire and rubber products there. Look at that, that's, that's sick. Hopefully it doesn't crash my game or anything. Um, how do I go about getting inside this thing? Oh, it's... Okay, is it really that easy? Just pressing Y. Hopefully it doesn't like crash my game or anything like that. That would be... How do I raise it? Oh, we've risen it. I'm assuming that we... We do that. This is the first time I've ever flown in the air in Grand Theft Auto 5. This is crazy. Like, how is it not crashing my game? I have no idea. There's a helicopter there in the sky. This is crazy. Let's go over towards the city, maybe towards the bridge. This is Atomic Blimp gameplay right here. Live commentated. Never done this before. There's the motorway we had that little chase on in the Let's Play. This is crazy. Oh, wait, you haven't seen that bit yet. I won't be releasing that. So let's go down this way. Let's just follow the bridge and sit and see what happens. I'm not going to go any higher than this because we won't be able to see too much. Maybe just level it out a little. Um, right, here we are. There's the. This is the Del Perro Bridge, I think. The maze bank is like over there and I'm being turned away because I'm not controlling it properly because I'm excellent at this. And it, I'm surprised that the detail I can actually see in, on the ground. Like I'm quite high up and obviously the higher you, the, the further you are away from the textures, the, the, you know, the sort of the grainier and the, and the weirder they become, but I'm not, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing a lot of detail. Um, hopefully I don't crash this thing. All right, we're going to go over this way. I've no idea how long this video is going to be. shouldn't take too long to fly around the whole city. This is another bridge, which leads on from that bridge over there. You can see the city over there, and it's massive, this map. If you ever had any doubts that this game would be small, it isn't. It really isn't small. That that is, a, it's not small. All right, it's it's not. It's gigantically huge. And there's there's the docks over there. The airport is just behind us over there. I guess we'll head over these hills here. See what's going on. Not too much. Looks like that. Oh, this is the oil area from the trailer. I know exactly where I am. What's over these mountains? keep rising a little higher so we can actually see okay just a forest I reckon you can probably do some nice exploring up there probably some cool stuff to be found over there right what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this lump of a machine down and around because there's not too much to see over there look at that look at the view look at that view gee whiz man that's gonna be the the thumb there if I can keep it still that is the thumbnail. This this game is humongous. I've got to land this thing as well. That would be quite funny. Right, let's go over this way. See what's going on. Hmm. This is this is sick, man. This is awesome. This is just like I'm flying in a blimp in Grand Theft Auto 5. I mean, what is this? What is life, man? Oh my goodness gracious, mate. Should I crash it? Like, as a. I think I should crash it. Like, I'm gonna go down the highway here and see what's up. What's this building here? I have no idea. Is that like a power plant or something? Sick, man. Look at them. Look at the little. The cars look like ants. <laughs> this is a gigantic world. And it's pretty difficult to control this. I'm doing quite well, I'd say. You have to hold the analog stick forward to to move forward to accelerate well there's a little bit of clipping on that mounting over there if you can just see that there I won't highlight that too much because this game is is a masterpiece really to to fit this world in on these consoles with their small amount of RAM is impressive um, these little offshore rock islands here and we're coming in towards the desert area I've never been here before I've never been to sandy shores this will be a first time we're going to be hitting five minutes in a minute. I might do this as a ten minute video. going to... Hopefully we'll be able to... Uh, I think this is where the Alamo Sea is or something. I can just see the Alamo Sea off in the distance. And the city's like over there. So 
this game is humongous. There's just saying it's small is nothing. It's just it's, that's the wrong statement. It is not small. It's gigantic. Oh, no idea where Mount is. That that must be Mount Chiliad or something over there, right over in the distance. I'm gonna lower it a bit more. I'm gonna lower, 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 lower. We're in the desert area now. Don't want it too low, or I'll end up crashing it. Right, yep. Yeah, Sandy Shores is coming up. The Alamo Sea is over there. The Zancudo River is just like where those mountains are over there on the left side. Um, we're in the Grand Senora Desert. That's what it's called. It's a lot bigger. I'm looking at the uh, at the map that came with the game case, and it's it's a lot a lot bigger than that. I looked at the map and I was like, "Wow, that's small," and, it, and it's not. That's this is massive. This is just this is impressively massive, right? Here's Sandy Shores, right here. We'll fly over the Alamo Sea so we can get a look at Grape Seed, which is over there on the right, just in front of that mountain. And this is Sandy Shores. This is where Trevor lives. We have not yet met him. Um, where else? Uh, Pal the Pal Palimo, Palamo Bay, or something is over this mountain. I'll attempt to get round there. Um, this is going to take a while. See, look, at this is just taking ages, man, because it's this thing is really slow as well. Look, there's a crop duster. Look, crop duster. Sick. See, look at that. That's just that's just ambient activity going on in the world. Someone's crop dusting their crops. That's ambient activity. That's what this game is all about. I think there's a railway line over there by the motorway. So we've seen uh, Grape Seed. We're flying over that now. Sandy Shores is just behind us. We're going between two uh, mountains. This is Mount Chiliad, just to let you know, the, the tallest mountain in the game. Mount Josiah is the mountain that is just behind it. I don't know what this mountain is. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what it is. But if I do find out what it is, actually, if I fly over it, it'll tell me probably. I don't want to spend too long. So we're going through Braddock Pass. So that might be Mount Braddock or something. Okay, Mount Gordo. There we go. Let's see. Yep, there's Palamo Bay over there. It's going to take a while to get there. 7 minutes 45 in at the moment. I'm uploading. I've uploaded one video already today, and I'm this. I'm uploading my second right now. But we are at Mount Chiliad. It's it's actually quite massive. That is gigantic. You can't even see the city anymore. Right, we're gonna go down. A lot further down, actually. Should we land this thing on the motorway? That'd be pretty cool. Right here we go. Now we're going across. The face of Mount Chiliad, the ocean is there, which goes on forever. Um, the motorway is below us. We'll, we'll lower ourselves a little bit down so we can see Palamo Bay or... Is it Palito? No, it's Palito Bay, not Palamo Bay, excuse me. Oh, look, there's another crop duster. Oh, no, that's just a normal plane. See, ambient activity all over the place. Right, here we are, Palito Bay. And it's just a small town on the very northern face of the island. And... Uh, yeah, let's have a little look. It's not that big. It's pretty cool though. We do, I think there's some big missions that go on here. I think the road that we're that's directly below us is an important road as well. Look at the shadow of the blimp. Ah, that's cool. I love this blimp. I'm glad I downloaded this. This makes exploring the world a lot easier. A lot slower, admittedly. I should have probably just spawned in a helicopter or something and done this, but this is much more entertaining. Watching a blimp fly around. At least, at least it is for me. Okay, this looks interesting. Like little mountain ridges you can get up to the top of um, top of Mount Chiliad there. It's pretty cool. I've been over there in the motorway tour, so I don't see much point in going over that way. So we'll cut back round. I think this is the Alamo Sea again. Um, this is State Wilderness. Ooh, and there's a bridge here. Right, this must be a river. We'll lower ourselves over it and we'll give ourselves a nice view of the river that's in between these two mountain ranges here. This is sick. This is just awesome. And now we're back out at the Alamo Sea again. Um, I've no idea what that river's called. I know that it must be the Zancudo. Yeah, this is definitely the Zancudo. I'm going to crash this thing if I'm not careful. 
Yeah, that's the Zancudo, I think. And we're coming... Sandy Shores is over that way, I believe. Um, I think if we keep heading this way, we'll head back over the city. So this is Mount Josiah right there. Yeah, this is the Alamo Sea. I, I knew it, I knew it. And this is... Is that the Zancudo River? I'm not too clued up on my rivers, really. Um, I wonder how much of that you can actually physically walk on. I'm not sure it might all be mapped out because some of it looks like it cannot be climbed. So, yeah, that would be interesting to see. Ooh, Fort Zancudo. That was one of the things. Yeah, this is the Zancudo River here, not that one over there. That's a different river. So this over here would be Fort Zancudo. I've actually never seen it before. I did actually drive under it. Uh... But that's all I did. So we'll fly over to it. And then we'll fly back towards the city. And then we'll just see the city in all its glory. I I, I do intend to explore all this region on the ground level. So here we here is uh, Fort Zancudo. Which is like a military base. I don't know whether I should fly over it. Otherwise I'll probably get a wanted level or something. As you can see the river breaks out into the ocean. Um, lots of roads here. We'll lower ourselves down. Ooh what's that? That's a bit glitchy. Ah well. I'll forgive its glitchiness because this is massive and really importantly good and I love it. Right. Um, yep, that looks like a military base to me. Probably something you don't want to mess with. Right, okay. So there's a military base. There is some uh, grape fields right there. Um, this game is beautiful. This uh, There's a villa there which looks pretty awesome. Maybe you can buy that. I have no idea. I think there'd be a little icon over it if you could buy it. But We'll fly over this uh, this mountain range here. Is that a boat? No, that's just a it's just a house on the edge there. So we're now we're heading back towards the city, um, and you can see it all in its glory. This is massive. If you ever thought this game was small, it is not. It is actually gigantic. <laughs> it's just I keep I keep saying that, but you you just have to know. It would take you ages to explore this if you just walked it. It'll probably take you about an hour to walk from one side of the map to the other in real time, genuinely in real time. If you just walked from the most southerly point to the most northerly point of the map probably take you about an hour to do it uh, if you card it about 12 to 15 minutes or something no actually I'd say 20 to 25 minutes maybe if you did it at the speed limit uh, to fly it by plane probably 10 minutes or something like that I have, no, I have no idea it depends on how fast you go and here's the city we're coming over where Michael lives um, the golf course is there I believe no, the golf course is there, I'm sorry. Um, and we'll fly towards the skyscrapers. And there is the uh, the Del Perro beach and the bridge where we started off. Um, I think I've given a pretty accurate sum over of the entire city. Um, I will keep the drive-through video as well because I like that because that shows the level, you know, it shows it at ground level. Motorways and, and underpasses and overpasses and bridges. We'll fly towards these skyscrapers here and uh, we'll head back towards base. Um, so this is basically the city, man. This is massive. And then all of the countryside over there. Awesome. What more could you wish for with Grand Theft Auto V? And when I've done playing the whole thing, I'm going to play it again. <laughs> this is just awesome. And here we are the skyscrapers of I was about to say Liberty City of Los Santos not Liberty City this isn't GDA 4 baby there's a helicopter there we don't want to crash into that otherwise we'll probably get a wanted level or something that helicopter is tiny compared to this blimp so there's the, the skyscrapers we've flown between them we've seen them all in their action and in their glory there's another blimp over there which is pretty cool um, so we're now we're heading back towards the airport I have no idea where we'd land I think I know where, where to go there's the maze bank this is where sort of uh, uh, Franklin lives and uh, it's just pretty cool it is awesome to, to look at it this way I love it ah, right and unfortunately after 15 minutes of exploration in a blimp atomic blimp gameplay I was I, th I thought this wasn't going to take that long. I thought it was going to be like two minutes, whiz around the map, but no, 15 minutes. Right. Where do I land this thing? Right, I'm not going to land this thing because that could take a while. But I hope that you enjoyed this Atomic Blimp gameplay, showing you off the entire map, just to show you how massively humongous it is. So please leave a like rating 
and I'll see you on the next GTA 5 video. There's the city in its glory one last time. Let me hold the analog as still as I can. There we go, and goodbye.